Hey there, I'm Ken, this is CRT, and welcome. Welcome to this episode that I am very excited about doing. In this episode, I have finally picked up a computer that I have wanted since I started this channel and started looking at all the old retro tech again. This is not one I ever had when I was a kid, but it's one that I saw and I wanted and it is right here. Now you may say that's a pretty small computer, eh, some sort of laptop or something. Well, I'm not gonna tell you just exactly what it is yet. Let's open this up and take a look at it together. So let's grab a knife and get this open. Here we go, I feel like a kid in a candy store. If I can figure out how to open this. There we go, there it is, in all of its bubble wrap glory. There we go. Drum roll, please. TRS-80 Model 100. So, first look, of course, of, it's got the uh, carrying bag in it that actually is monogrammed with Radio Shack Model 100 portable computer. That looks good. There's a little... One little scratch right there. Otherwise, it all looks pretty good. The battery door is even still there. See how the battery compartment looks? I think. There we go. Battery compartment actually looks good. No corrosion. And for all you serial number junkies out there, there is the back sticker. Yes, this is in very nice shape. So, time to get some batteries, put it in, and turn it on to see if it works. All I have to do is insert these four AA batteries. That's right, this thing runs on a mere four AA batteries. And now it is ready to be turned on and tested out. So all I have to do is flip this power switch at the side, get a job with JT, and I'll be able to go as far as Fletcher. Actually, who am I kidding? Fletcher is probably running the company by now. Anyways, I can't wait to turn this thing on and test it out. But before we do that, let's take a look around this thing and uh, see what's on it. What you got with one of these computers. This is the TRS-80 Model 100 Portable Computer. As you can see, it has its own built-in monochrome screen, 12 function buttons, arrow keys, a full-size QWERTY keyboard, and also, if you push in the number lock key, you have a number pad on these keys right here. And around the back, there is an RS-232C port, a printer port. 
this this is where you hook up your modem or um, your phone phone jack uh, cable and this is for a cassette drive which uh, you can load and save programs from and this is a reset button around this side you have a jack for um, a power power jack a contrast wheel the on and off switch and around this side you hook up a barcode scanner wand and these two are for the built-in modem for uh, setting different uh, settings on the modem and that is everything you got with the TRS-80 Model 100 portable computer which was released in 1983 and it was released in an 8k and a 24k version and in its lifetime this particular model sold about six million okay now I've, I've made you wait long enough let's turn this thing on and we have a screen basic text telecon address Looks like it's all working. 29,638 bytes free. Let's go into basic. Uh, of course, I'm doing this upside down, so. Um, boy, it's really hard to type upside down. Uh, shit. Okay, actually, before I do anything, let's check out all the keys. All of the keys do not seem to be working here. Six key, four key, three key, two key, one key are not working. Okay, looks like I have some keyboard work to do on this thing. But it's working to this point, so. Um, Yes, well, I guess we've got to take this thing apart and take a look at it. There we go. I have finally got my TRS-80 Model 100 computer and I couldn't be happier. Cosmetically, that is a beautiful computer. But unfortunately, as we saw, there are some keys that don't work. So, um... Yeah, maybe I think in the next video, what we're going to have to do is crack that sucker open, uh, see what we can see, and try to get those keys working. But um, I'm going to end the video here for today because uh, I have some research to do. So I hope you enjoyed watching me uh, unbox that little beauty and uh, yeah, give it a little quick test. All right, well, and if you did enjoy it, you know what you can do. There's the thumbs up, there's the subscribing, there's also the commenting. Any or all of those things would be greatly appreciated, but I am now going to head over to the internet and see what I can learn about what I did not know about those Model 100 computers. See you next time.